recording. Uh, just, uh, yeah, I was just reminding me of the news uh, through press TV and all alternatives, of course. Um, was it two, two days ago? Two missiles fired. <laughs> uh, okay, so the bottom line of it uh, was uh, the accusations that they came from uh, the warships, the American warships in the Mediterranean. They said, no, it wasn't us. Turns out it was Israel who fired into the Mediterranean, crossing the course of the American ships, so much so that it set off the incoming missile alarm and they intercepted one of the missiles to stop it and the second one apparently uh, uh, ended up in the ocean. It, it didn't hit its target. But it was Israel. <clears throat> so again, they are the ones to start all wars as they did the Bay of Tonkin and uh, of course the uh, Liberty that was blown up years ago. Blame it. Uh, so the plan obviously was this time fire the missiles at the American warships have America fire back on Syria because you'd have Israel jumping up and down saying it was Syria it was Syria just like the uh, cowards that they are so so that's what happened a couple of days ago oh yes of course you know they're behind the Twin Towers they're behind everything World War One, World War Two. Hitler was a saint and a hero and had he implemented what he wanted to do, then the world would be at peace today. What MasterCard? Uh, yes, uh, just more news that Gabriel has sent. MasterCard, owned by the Queen, is refusing to now allow any merchants who are alternative news, calling them Holocaust deniers, etc., 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 and hate. So you've got, a, you've got a Jew here stirring them up, going, having a meeting with the executives of MasterCard, and uh, all he's doing is talking about hate. Hate, 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 hate sites. It's probably the likes of David Irving and others are out there who are simply exposing the truth. Not allowed to use MasterCard anymore. So this is the uh, Jews who call themselves Jews and are not. And is why they're about, they're, they're in the judgment. They have no future at all. This is why they will not tell the world that the Christ is back. They know that they are doomed. So all things heating up, just get excited people, because pretty soon the world is going to be a much cleaner place. Alright, moving right along with this ripping yarn. The Hindu Vedas predicted that Lord Yahweh, Jehovah, would be born. His name, Jesus, would be crucified, raised from the dead and returned to the earth in the end time to judge the world. The Great Pyramid specifically reveals the date of my birth as well as the date I married wife number one. The children's dates of birth, confirmed by the duration of sunlight for their births, and just as an example, I was 8,880 days old on May the 4th, 1968 in Canada, when my daughter was reborn, the sunrise to sunset 888 minutes, and is Jesus in Greek, Gematria. I'll just add a little more that, that 280 days before on her conception, the Jesus planet of Jupiter at 88,800 miles wide was overhead Port Alberni for 888 minutes. It's all to do with the synchronicity of her numbers. It's all divine. The angels orchestrate all. It's God's creation. These numbers here are just the tip of the iceberg. Now, the antechamber of the Great Pyramid is 116.26 pyramid inches wide. It is the age. Between, now he's talking about his daughter, his, his uh, daughter, between her and my stepdaughter, by Michelle, wife number three. 11.626 years. Now Michelle is 11.62.6 days younger than I, and my marriage to number one, I was 1162.6 weeks and on and on. So days, weeks, years, it's all about the numbers and the synchronicity of them. And here is the width of the antechamber. In weeks it's 8138 days. The distance, 537 pyramid inches from the step to the far wall of the king's chamber. 
That was the distance in kilometres from the rebirth location in Rosebury. Straight down is a point in the ocean, and then it measures 537 kilometres to the location of the house at Nell Street, in Mary Magdalene, inherited from her mother. And it's... <laughs> yes. The mother lived at 666 Main Road. It's where the Christ and she shared their home for 13.13 years. So the point is, I have been recognised by Pope Benedict XVI. That is the end of it. It's now a matter of waiting until the angels from the planet accompanying Nibiru make their presence known. And uh, you saw those photographs at the beginning of the last presentation, just how close it is. I have revealed the axis of the Earth had shifted to off the north coast of Herne Bay, the UK, east of London. The constellations are out of position. Orion appears to have rotated about 40 degrees clockwise from our view in Rome. As for UFOs, the following slide I have drawn to show what I saw in 1983. I was south of Sydney at a time in total despair. My daughter, 15 years old, would climb out her window, then go out sleeping with a man charged with being the leader of six who pack raped a woman near where I was overlooking Wollongong, a city south of Sydney. The city that my, uh, the Christ's mother was born. I was parked at sunset. The sun was setting to my right. While I wrote romantic stories of love and tenderness, finally the light was almost gone, too dark to see. Then the light was becoming brighter. As it did, I noticed the light was from the north. I got out of my car and there were five spheres glowing like the sun. I walked across the road, stood on the edge of a valley with a hill from the right, and these orbs slowly settled into the valley, passing into the earth with the trees in front seen against the descending orbs. Twenty minutes one after the other, all in a line, each passing into the earth, and were gone. I stood there in the dark, pondering what they were. I have, I have no idea. Five orbs, certainly controlled by some unseen force. Now, I will just add here, 25 years later, <laughs> I said to Yara, I think the five orbs were cycles of time. Five, as in father, five times five is 25, because it was 25 years later, in 2008, I had already found Yara, and it was at that same point that I was... I was driving my vehicle. I was actually working in Wollongong helping my sister and on a trip to Sydney Airport I went up through this area. It was bizarre because it's not the way that I would normally go and I was compelled to drive past that point and I almost started thinking, well I'll get to Sydney and I'll drive through the National Park. I turned around and thought it's not very wise. I was alone. It was dark. i better turn around and take the highway. So the point at where I turned around, when, we, when I picked Yara up from the airport, we drove back there and, of course, he had his trusty Magellan software, and the point where I turned around was Michael, the archangel. So that's why I was compelled to go there. And it was the very place that he was in 1983. 888 metres from the ocean. <laughs> 888 metres from the ocean. <laughs> and that's, of course, where he gave me the seven stars of the revelation that he holds in his right hand, his wife ring. So that's the story of the orbs that Yah has witnessed himself, huge gold orbs. Now the following are a series of photos off the History Channel. The point is, researchers always say the only explanation was that aliens came and built these monuments huge and beyond our technical abilities of today. Numbers become absolute, not language as we know it. A synchronistic past, present and future 
in the images of the Lord from ancient India. Are there giants? All ancient structures with huge stones impossible to lift, a thousand tons or more, let alone transport hundreds of miles. Mention tall, huge men with blue eyes, blonde red hair, full beards at least seven feet tall, arriving in flying chariots. 1997, I was walking through Greensboro Shopping Centre. I saw a man at least 7 foot 6 inches tall, 400 pounds, blonde hair, about 22 years old. I turned and followed him, yet no member of the crowd looked at him. I'm 6 feet 2 and a half inches tall, the top of my head was below his shoulders. I could see him, yet it appeared he was not noticed by others. Genesis chapter 6 verse 4, there were giants in the earth in those days, and when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. Other sightings, over 200 people saw a craft land in Russia, the being were almost 8 to 9 feet tall, many were school, school children that witnessed the craft, and the craft was like a round ball flattened out. Others, Kremlin's official voice, nine foot tall, aliens walk about. The book of Enoch has been banned from all religions. Quoting, two huge men appeared to me, the like of which I had never seen on earth. Their faces were shining like the sun, their eyes too were like a burning light. And they took me up and carried me to the first heaven. And they fly with their wings and do the rounds of all the planets. They led before my face the elders, the rulers of the stellar orders. The report of the tenth planet. Michigan's largest newspaper, the Detroit News. These Sumerian carvings, giants sitting as tall as the men standing. This is the stone at Balbec, 100,000 plus tons, left emerging from the quarry at Balbec. might be able to hear fireworks that have just started up. It's Thursday night and it's a little after 8 o'clock but there's fireworks happening. Romans seem to love their fireworks at least every Sunday. <laughs> we see fireworks going off in the distance. Not banned as they are in other nations. Bender stone. This is a height above 10,000 feet where conditions are Yes, you can't, can't breathe at, at those heights. Mm. Yeah, I was just saying that these have all been left in remote areas to indicate that only angels could do these things. Look at these stones, just amazing. Stonehenge. We were there June this year at Stonehenge. 
Yes, yeah, so and there's some salt that didn't happen. <laughs> yes. Yes, I was just saying, the Earth axis has shifted at least 40 degrees. Just amazing. Lovely chemtrail skies there. Okay, so as man and woman is made in the image of the mother and father, I as a baby dreamed my mother and father would be as Asherah and Yahweh. Imagine what it was like for the thought of the Creator alone in a prison. A baby. In the mind of the Creator, past, present and future began to overwhelm him, indicated by the three lines on his forehead. When we're in Fiji, the Raj, the Hindu holy man, he just looked at Yah's forehead for, <laughs> well, he always looked at Yah's forehead, but that's what he said, he was looking at the lines on his forehead. And he came to the conclusion that Yahweh was indeed Yahweh of the Hindu the Vedas. Yes, and of, yes, the angel actually woke him up and told him to come down and talk to us at our cottage. Now, we're talking about, uh, going back to Enoch here, his watches, the angels, were in the beginning spiritual, not physical, but also had free will. And these became the giants who lusted after earthly women, becoming physical men, as those who followed instructions to build the vast, gigantic monuments, as a sign to remember the Creator. The offspring of the giants were increasingly evil and had to be destroyed the flood came as Mars was moved outward from its former orbit inside the Earth's orbit. This was when the angels who had completed their task of building and were gathering to be taken back to their planet revealed by the Sumerian carvings. Mars was covered with water, its diameter 4216 miles. It collided with the Earth in a slow approach as any object the same distance from the Sun orbits at the same speed. As the planets drew closer due to the Earth's north pole attracting the south pole of Mars, the water from Mars was drawn as a flood onto the Earth as rain. Yes, I, yeah, I was just saying it punched out the moon through Antarctica. Yeah, the, the moon, which was molten, uh, immediately froze. Base. Perfectly round. <laughs> Craters, so like bubbles of porridge popping. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, so 4216 from 5144 in the sense of distinction, some noted constellation in the zodiac, Maseroth. Compare 4208 in the sense of reigning, apparently from 41, in the sense of reigning a constellation that is zodiac or sign, planet. Then compare 4216, so we go over. Greek 4216. Riverborne that is overwhelmed by a stream carried away of the flood. We see the width of Mars leads to raining and the zodiac, a time marked in the celestial clock and being carried away of the flood. Man's evil seed was destroyed and the few good saved. That was Noah and his family. The souls of the giants destroyed, mingled with men, attained immortality by the promise to the human being possessed with the mingled evil of the giants. This enabled a pathway through time for the demon spirit to seek corrupting the descendants of Noah. The Hindi Vedas speak of the raven and the dove, and the raven sent out from the ark as it flies to great heights and has telescopic sight. It returned, then sent again, did not return. Then Noah sends the dove after it. It returns with an olive branch from the island known today as Sri Lanka, off the coast of India. <clears throat> the 11 rivers to this day average 88.8 .8 miles. 888 is the gematria for the name Jesus in Greek. And this is a, a, a picture of, the, of Mars before the loss of its oceans. And this just turned up in Yah's computer. Yesterday, wasn't it, babe, or the day yeah. before? Yeah, just turned up. He's, he's not actually seen it before.
Now Mars was the dwelling place of the giant angels in physical bodies that travelled back and forth to the Earth when it was in eclipse between it and the Earth, slowly passing the Earth in its inner orbit. They built all of the ancient monuments, including the cities and all buildings of Egypt, as well as the Great Pyramid and all other pyramids, numbering 400 in Egypt and others around the world, from Mesa, America, Europe and China. Then as time ran out, the dwarf solar system, known from the Sumerian as Nibiru, returned on its 3600-year orbit, leaving the Earth to the next 3600-year battle after the flood. All medias, all libraries, all universities, all schools, all teachers are devoured by the demons dwelling within the Zionists. If any of these researchers said what these giant monuments really are, their work would not be published. And so who are the builders really? Angels. The point is these ancient monuments are built in locations where man had not existed. Slabs of rock 50 tons quarried from one mountain and transported to the top of another. The Baalbek stones were quarried, moved and placed in walls weighing a thousand tons plus. It's each of them, the, the stones, the joins are so closely fitted not even a human hair would fit between them. Huge structures around the world are within a 100 kilometer strip ending at Easter Island. Easter Island has 887 statues with one badly damaged by cook with cannons. Why was it destroyed? It is beside the 280 ton giant statue of Yahweh. It represents Asherah, seen in the Hindi statues and paintings. Add the Asherah statue to the 887 equals 888, Jesus. Both are emerging out of the side of a volcano, representing now out of the earth, hell to judge the earth. Baalbek stone, massive. I think I'm almost there. This is some archaeological finds of the, the weirdest. Uh, however, it, it would reflect the creator and the Wife, the light coming from the side. The father of the matured baby, as all this was thought, we see the father has two enclosed areas on his forehead, symbolizing thought, the mother and father figures of mankind, Asherah and Yahweh, Jehovah, ancient Vedas. This word means angels. White hair, an old man, mentioned as the Ancient of Days in Daniel. Quoting, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as fast, his wheels as burning fire. Daniel 7 9. Genesis 6 4, there were giants in the earth those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will just destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. 
two raised hands of the father to the head indicates they are the same soul, and supporting a crossbeam of the cross indicating past. The figure to his right, her left hand, is on her shoulder, which is indicative of burden, her right hand by her side. She is leaning away, the figure on his left, her right hand on her heart, with sorrow, her left by her side. This too, this um, <clears throat> relief of the shroud, that, this turned up as well, didn't it, huh? It did. Yes, the eye has not seen this before he found it in his uh, folder of pictures, but it, it's a stone relief and it looks like uh, somebody's um, impression <laughs> of the shroud of Turin. You can see the two figures front and back there, head to head, just as the shroud is, and even the weave. You can see how the, the, the size of the cloth is laid out and the herringbone weave. And again, this just turned up in Yar's computer. I might add that our 1000 gig hard drive has vanished into thin air. wasn't stolen, wasn't misplaced, wasn't left anywhere. It has just vanished. So the angels do... Oh, uh, also, what was it, uh, three or four weeks ago, Yah woke up um, and put his hand behind his head to find a little uh, plastic flower and, and a branch had been placed underneath his head. And it came from a plant that's out in our living room. And it was actually underneath his head on... Yeah, it was underneath his head. And just before that, Yah said that he felt a presence in the room. Was that when the doors blew open? Or, yeah. yeah, the doors blew open of our upper room here. Yah felt a presence. And then I get disturbed and I wake up and go to the bathroom. When I come back, that's when Yah's already he's found the flower underneath his head. So an angel has removed the flower from the where it is and put it underneath your head. You were lying on your back, so... <laughs> It is amazing. So what's it all about? Judgment. Judgment, left hands, arrows, scales, right axe and hammer, the yellow circle, modern tools, pump, sewing machine, etc., etc., all of those things, indicating man's final stage of development. The God figure is younger, revitalized, all-knowing, compassionate, merciful and holy, indicated by the circle of pink, the red garment spotted with white, Isaiah 63, and so on. And here is the earth, but above the universe, as in a dream state. All about judgment. 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 Here are the dimensions showing how the symmetry of these huge monuments is impossible. Even with today's technology, they say over and over, we, we cannot be so accurate today as they were at the days, days of old. So what do we do? We tell what the numbers mean. 1405 being the top. Idea of capturing to grasp, entrap, take. The next one down, 1349, justice, decision, execution, judgment, punishment, vengeance. 1243, a distinction, variety, difference, diversity. When you add the three numbers, they add up to 3997. Grief, mourning, sorrow. When you add both sides together, 7994. The throw out, down or away. Adventure, cast away, down, forth, off, out. Pearl, pluck, throw. Judgment. December the 4th, 2010, Fiji, the anniversary of the Christ's ancestor, his birth and death date, also the Shroud of Turin burning, December the 4th, a very important day. It's when we were married before the people of Hindi and Christian 
coming together. The Hindi Vedas older than all Christianity. And there are the lines. Actually, I'm looking at them now as he eats from a bowl of soup. Those three lines on your forehead, babe. <laughs> Past, present, and future. <laughs> Now, of course, we haven't dressed up like that since, have we? <laughs> and uh, Chuka immortalised us, having painted us in, in oils, in our robes. Judgment. Yes, yeah, I was just saying that Francis is at the top of the list. Now, moving right along, Sri Lanka is where Satan was cast to hell. The earth, the earth, hell. The width of the moon is the same as Australia. The impact craters align with the pyramid overlay. Stop these there to study this, but this is, again, creation. All very deliberate. 1521 is the latitude of India there. It also means to lead into the river of paradise. And the moon, this is the uh, position of the moon, the, the view from the moon on the rebirth date of the Christ, January 11, 1944, 2.22 a.m., dead centre of Australia and, of course, aligning with the descending passage at the juncture there with the other passage that leads up to the grotto. See the subterranean chamber with the pit open to see the dead there on the left. All about the numbers. The Great Pyramid is the altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt and is the record and memorial of the Creator. It's all about the return to Christ. It identifies Him. In blue there, the 286.1. 286 is Lamb. 286.1 is for Alpha, of course, being the Father, and it is the Displacement factor of the pyramid is also the espousal numbers and tells the story. The star beside Polaris, which is where the descending passage is pointing to when the Earth is in its former position. Not since. Can't find Polaris. <laughs> it's vanished. The Earth is all bent out of shape. Two distances are latitudes that run through India. Mankind, all mankind have female souls. Marries Christ. Indian history, the raven from the ark landed in Sri Lanka, which is the red path, and Satan emerged. No one was supposed to go there as Satan would infest them and escape through human beings. This was told to us by Raj, the Hindu holy man. Yes, oh. across the British. Yep. So Thomas travelled to India in 52 AD. The Brahmin priests already knew Jesus was going to die on the cross. He was Yahweh, Jehovah, God in the flesh, as told by the ancient Vedas 2,500 years before. That's right. So Thomas baptised them in water, full immersion. Judah, the royal line, no lightly shield. Quoting from Genesis 49, 9 through 11. And the, and that's Marshall, 49, 10, 11, and 12 is Marshall, <laughs> the number in the Hebrew. Judah is a lion's wealth. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. 
He stooped down, he couched as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rouse him? Judah's primary emblem, the lion, is usually known in a couched or dormant position. As Yah said, he's just laying back, just waiting for the lionesses, the women, to round, bring in the prey before he pounces. That's why the women are the ones who are doing the work. As well as a couple of very special men, Joel and Gabriel. <laughs> But remember, guys, your your soul's a female anyway, so. Oh, Chuka, yes, of course, and John, and yes. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. We actually had had the dream that we're there are about twenty of us. She says that's right. That's what I said. But nineteen, <laughs> maximum nineteen. Is the go lightly world tree viewer ancestry world tree. Henry Go Lightly and the, his uh, great grandfather and grandmother, Malcolm III, King of Scotland, and Margaret, Queen of England. Margaret Scotland married William Marshall. Here's Yahweh's birth certificate. Handwritten. This was Christmas Day. 2010 in Fiji, we were down by the pool, celebrating Christmas on our own, showing scars on Yah's back. The, the sun, after being out in the sun, and then uh, under the umbrella was uh, like neons. So I took a video comparing it to the Shroud of Turin. Actually lower on his back, you can't see it, but you can see it on the Shroud, it's a vertical scar that is what, about four inches long? Yeah. And he has that same, you can see it on the shroud, and Yah has that on his back as well. On the left is Mexico, on the right is Egypt, the pyramids, and in the center, Orion. It's all bent out of shape, up by about 40 degrees. Now, so below these three stars, the belt of Orion hangs a sheath for a sword. It, in it is M42. It is 1600 light years distant. It periodically vanishes, yet it is eight light years wide with stars within it, yet it vanishes. Galileo is recording Orion on January 7, 1610, and numbered it M42. No? It was, he didn't see it. He didn't see it. Oh, oh, I see what you see. No no M42. Yeah, okay. Yes, like, that's what you're saying later. Sorry. That's me seeing no, thinking no, no. There was no M42. He gave his telescope to Nicholas de Parsec. In November, he saw it later. It vanished. And then Messier found it and named it M42. And then it again vanished. Gone now. Yes, it's not. Yeah, it's gone now. Yeah. After the cleansing. Mm. Subtract 1600 years from 1610 and you've got the Star of Bethlehem. It reappeared in modern times, and recently in 2012 it vanished once again. It was bright at the time of my birth on June the 17th, 2 BC, blinking on and off. Try and find the reference to 1600 light years. No longer found. I had announced the distance from Carl Sagan's Easy Cosmos. However, it's now 1300 light years. 1300 from 1299. <laughs> Lightning by analogy, a gleam. Flashing sword, bright. Glittering sword, lightning. What is it getting closer? Ah, of course. Yes, I just said the point is, is it getting closer? Of course. Beheaded dove. Beautiful though, isn't it? Factor stones, huge. What was the word that uh, Benedict used to describe... Um, the reign of John Paul II. He used the word uh, ginormous. Ginormous. <laughs> so here we have ginormous stones. <laughs> and there's the Balbec, ginor Balbec ginormous stone. <laughs> That's your gentleman, yes. Oh. Yes. Yes, John Paul II who froze in fear. He locked eyes on the Christ. 
1986 is in hell. And uh, Benedict thought him wonderful. He thinks everybody is wonderful. <laughs> yes, he forgives everybody. Not the Christ, though. No more time for forgiveness. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. It's the day of vengeance. Can't afford to forgive everybody because they don't, it's not like they repent and turn over a new leaf at all. Sake of the children, their future is. Yes. Yeah, the time of repentance is all over. It's judgment now. Mm. Yes, that's what the, the first lifetime of Jesus was all about. Repent, repent, repent. Well, everybody had a chance then, and those years up until the giving of the revelation, wasn't it? 96 year AD. That's when all history had lived out what was going to be and is back here now for the judgment. All generations, everybody who's ever lived. Back to Yahweh and Asherah on Easter Island, and there he is. The image within the Shroud of Turin, the Holy Ghost, Brian, Leonard, Go Lightly, Marshall, the returned, reincarnated Lord Jesus Christ, the Word of God. And tell me how anybody with an ounce of darkness within them could paint such a beautiful painting as Adolf Hitler has, of Mary and child. Not possible. Not possible at all. No way, Jose. He was all love and light. Yes, so God is saying that we will be adopting Hitler's protocols his, uh, that he had for Germany. They will become the kingdom protocols for health and prosperity for all peoples upon the earth.